down the short shoot and things get very silent as we await the green flag. Pull them belts tight one last time, boys. Light the fires. Showtime. And the 65th Daytona 500 is underway. Five and 22 are connected better to the bottom right with you out back. Still in line. Five and 22 are connected. Right with you. Right with you. Your run will come back. There's a one gap behind the 22. They're released down there. Still half off of you. Half your lane. Your help is clear to the bottom, still half your lane. Bottom coming back by two to the other round one back, you're still clear now. Alex Bowman spotter Kevin Hamlin doing air traffic control as they come to near 200 miles an hour, completing lap one. Led by Kyle Larson. You hear those spotters, that communication is so crucial to every move these drivers will make all day long. On, watch him over here. Here he comes. Makes a big move. Cuts a couple of them off. Going extremely fast. Crash down the front straightaway, heading for pit road. Around goes the uh, Rick Rare Racing number 15 of rookie Riley Herbs. Not a crash, just a spin. And we stay green because he gets safely to pit road. Still green. Uh-oh, Bubba Wallace on pit road. Drop to the back of the pack, coming off turn number four. Wallace had moved to that top line to get from behind the 14, who he said was unsteady. Well, once he moved to the top line, he got hit into the fence. And had to come pick, guys. Right side damage to Bubba Wallace. They'll put two tires on it. Send it back out. He was running second and completes the stop. Need to make sure that didn't bend a toe link in the rear. Hit pretty hard. There it there is. Was the bump for Martin Turned Truex. him right into the wall. I'd say be able to get that. Man, that's a shot. That car's. I like that move. Back. Brad Keselowski timed those lappers perfect. And the top lane is boxed in. Held up there by Martin Truex. Yeah, they got stacked up. When you get stacked up like that, everybody, you know, is forced to, to hit the brakes and it just accordions and look at the damage done. Coming to the caution flag, Brad Keselowski, part owner now of Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing. He won a dual race here a year ago in the team's new debut. And he's going to win stage one as they come to the line and beat Ryan Grease by a car length. First stage win for Keselowski in the Daytona 500. And what a power move by Priest right at the flag. Let's listen to Harvick here. I just got it in the rock spot of the corner there. I don't know if I actually even touched it, but just came out from underneath him. Where we need to watch is this 45 car and the four car on the outside. A little bit of gap here. Kevin closes in, contact with the 45. That's what also catches the 12. And then it's on. Yeah, it didn't take much. It looked like Tyler was having trouble holding on to it. And as soon as that four got back to his bumper in the corner, it just unfortunately turned him right into the 12. One to go, stage two, and they're even. Chastain and Bowman. I think it was a coin toss for us in all reality. I mean, it, it's hard to sit there and just keep blocking both lanes, and they were so even. It wasn't like either lane was really getting a huge advantage over the other. Eventually, they're both coming at the same time. You just got to pick one. First time the Florida melon farmer has led the Daytona 500. Door to door like this, you're going to have to make a move. Is he going to try to go up the middle, maybe on the outside? Even, even top and bottom right there. Truex so in the 19 through one shot in the backstretch. He hit Logano, who hit Chastain, and that's the difference. To the flag to end stage two. Three wide, the sixth throw back, and it's Five. Chastain. 
by less than a foot. I do. That's right. Well, I didn't say it better than him, though. No. Whoa. By inches. Ahead. That's close. Clear. Nobody wrecked. Two inside. Caution is out. Debris in two. And that'll call it. Second caution for cause of this Daytona 500. And it comes at lap 140. There is the debris. Fairly substantial chunk of it. Apparently something rubbed on that tire, cut it, and it came off the rim and onto the racetrack. Blaney, of course, was involved in that big accident at lap 119, but was able to make repairs and continue. Martin Logano and Byron. Let's see if they're able to make quick time of them when they catch him. Oh, oh they're wrecking. Big wreck. That's a product of catching those cars. Everybody's on a little bit different. A pile up Speed. in turn one with 18 laps to go. Michael McDowell, Ryan Priest, Martin Truex among those involved. I think them all. So you can see the pipes and the two car. He was lifting hard, stacks them up behind them. McDowell gets in the back of Priest, turns him around, the rest is history. But I take it back to Gregson. You see that lap car that they were going around. Always movement like that creates them stacking up. If you're Kyle Busch, if you're Austin Dillon, when do you make that move? I, I've always said this. I think you have to lead at the white flag because if that caution comes out, you're done. The race is over. Oh, There's a Suarez caution. Suarez around. Off turn four. Caution waves. Just out. Come straight to us here. Right side. Well, that changes everything. It sure does. This is where the new rule, moving the choose cone, is really going to get interesting. You're going to stack up two teammates. You know where they're going to go. Rod on each other's tail, bumper to bumper. What is William Byron in a Chevy, Logano in a Ford, Keselowski in a Ford, Stenhouse in a Chevy. It's a mixed bag behind them. The 65th Daytona 500. Kyle Busch takes off. Austin Dillon lets him into the inside. Logano comes up to cover See? on the outside. It's going to take them a while to get connected here. Outside bumper. Your top is clear. Your top is clear. Three is not. One back, two by two. Everybody on the outside pushing seven rows back. If Links in the chain. If you're Logano, you're not exactly in good company either. Two Chevrolets behind you. Getting... Stacked up on the inside, not at all. Here comes Stenhouse. Big shove by Larson. And Austin around Dillon goes around. the three. Crash in turn three. That fast. Unbelievable. And that will decimate roughly half the remaining field. We always say it cautions breed cautions. Christopher Bell drops in, and Dillon may have got a shot from William Byron, maybe not, not sure from that angle, but up he went and down he came. Dillon got in the back of Bush and had to check up. When he did, it stacked William and everybody up behind him. They turned him, the rest is history. Here we go. One more try at overtime. Is off ahead slightly, just staying on that 22. I don't like his bottom line off. already. Look how far off A.J. Allmendinger is off of Bell. That's not good for those guys. Bowman on the outside, getting a big push by Bubba. That's where all this energy is going to come from back here. The move's going to be made on the front, but it's going to be because of what they see in the rearview mirror. Here comes the eight. These guys are in trouble on the bottom. Here comes Bubba. Here comes a little bit of help, but they're going to need more than this, just those two. Bowman drops to the inside. His teammate Kyle Larson is the first car on the inside. Now that energy's all broke up now. Now Stenhouse we're going to see the cars coming from behind. Where's he going to go? They're both going to get to him pretty hard, pretty quick. All right, Stenhouse gets the white flag. The 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 flag the five. Three wide. Well, good. You got the help. Larson tried to go to the middle. Oh, he got turned. Larson Pastrana in the fence. We are still skilled green. No, the caution is out. And we'll wait for official word on whether Ricky Stenhouse or Joey Logano oh has won the Daytona 500.
I think the win comes from the five. When the five moved up to try to go around him and lost that momentum, that gets the five in trouble. Here comes the energy. Bell filled that void, gives him a big shot. Five gets turned around. Look, right there, he's in front of him. It is not the flag. It is not the caution lights. It is NASCAR's decision as to where those two cars were when the button was pushed to activate the caution and Ricky Stenhouse has won the Daytona 500. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Daytona 500 Let's winner. Go. Let me tell you, that's been a long time coming. Amazing. Changes Ricky Stenhouse right there. wins in his 12th try for the Daytona 500. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., it has been a long time coming. The one difference? Mike Kelly, your crew chief, is back. You won two championships together, and now you won the Daytona 500. Was it just magic together that made the difference here? Yeah, I think this whole offseason, Mike just preached how much we all believed in each other. Um, they left me a note on the car that said they believe in me and to go get the job done tonight. I made a few mistakes. We were able to battle back. This Kroger Cottonelle team worked really, really hard this offseason. Great pit stops, uh, Hendrick engines, glad a Chevy won. We, uh, man, this is unbelievable. This is the site of my last win uh, back in 2017. We worked really hard. We had a couple shots last year to get a win and, and fell short. It was a tough season, but man, we got it done. Daytona 500. You have a knack for this style of racing, and, and we went into overtime, so you had to do it a couple of times and earn it. What were those moments like, and what were you watching? What made the difference initially at the end? Yeah, I, you know, when the 8 went to the bottom there, you know, I was able to push the 22 and the 5. We had a huge run. I was hoping we were going to get to the white there, and we didn't, so I knew I was going to take the top. I was hoping the 22 was going to follow, and he did. He was able to push us out. I went to the bottom, the eight and the 22, you know, got a huge run. The five, you know, split me in the middle, but uh, another fellow dirt racer with Bell gave me a good shot down, down the little short shoot into one. And uh, man, we were out front when the caution came out. We were out of fuel, so the fuel light was going crazy. But man, I hope you all had fun. That was a heck of a race. Congratulations. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. wins the Daytona 500. Joey Logano comes up short in this bid for his second Daytona 500. Joey, you had a clear shot out front. You could see where you needed to be. What are the emotions right now? Uh, it's, it, second's the worst, man. <laughs> he was so close and uh, you know, leading the, the white flag lap there is up front. Kyle gave me a good push. And I, you know, you're watching in the mirror and they're three wide across there. And I felt like the three wide was going to hurt a lane. It looked like Kyle was getting pushed ahead. And then Ricky started getting pushed ahead. And, I knew if I went to the bottom, my car didn't handle good enough. <laughs> and I already got pushed off the bottom once, and I thought if I go down there, I'm probably going to get wrecked, and I don't know if I can get down there in time to throw the block. And so I didn't want to wreck my car either, and I don't know. And then you don't expect them to wreck. Like, you know, you, you, you think you're racing to the checkered flag, and you, know, you put yourself in the best position to try to win at the start-finish line, and just uh, caution came out. <laughs> yeah, you wish you could race to the end. Obviously, you can't, right? I mean, they wreck that much. But uh, congratulations to Ricky. Obviously, I mean, there's nothing like winning the Daytona 500. That's why it stings so much finishing second. But um, so proud of the team. Still proud of uh, the effort uh, coming off the championship last year and bringing this Shell Pennzoil Mustang uh, back towards the front and uh, getting a Ford close to the front. Wish it was in victory lane, though. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.